Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to Mirror's Edge. Let us resume the game. Let's hop into it. Any amount of delay is more than what we really want. Particularly in a game that's so fast-paced as Mirror's Edge. But for YouTube in general, people want to get to the point as quickly as possible. Kate? What are you doing here? What happened? Did you? No! You don't recognize him? Should I? It's Robert. Robert Pope? Friend of Dad's? Shit, that Pope. He called me. We hadn't talked much since I joined up. He had a break-in last week. He's still a campaigner. Don't you read the news? It's not news anymore. It's advertising. He was running for mayor. So the break-in must have really spooked him then. That's what I thought. But it was odd. He told me about the break-in. Asked me to come, then asked after you. Really? I haven't seen him for at least ten years. Anyway, he was alive when I got here. Just sitting at his desk, writing. Everything went black. When I came to, he'd been shot. And I'm pretty sure it was with my gun. There was a book on the desk. A diary. It was gone. I'm sure there was someone else in the building. Left my radio in the car. Haven't had time to phone it in. Come on. Come with me. I'll take you somewhere safe. This isn't the time to run. I'm not like you. Running will just make me look guilty. You think this was an accident, Kate? There are no accidents in this city. Someone wanted him dead and wanted you to take the fall. Help me, Effie, please. You've got contacts. There's got to be more to this. Something he knew. Something he wanted to tell me. I can't get involved in this, Kate. You know what I do. I just great. can't. Blue's incoming, Faith. You might want to be outgoing right about, oh, now. I'll see what I can do. If this goes down badly, find Lieutenant Miller, my superior. Take anything you find to him. I'm serious, Faith. Remember, they're not playing nice. Get out of there. Now go! And Faith, thank you. Pretty good cutscene. Although, I will say she throws her her gloved hand at her a couple times when she she's talking to her sister. I don't know what that what would have looked like Shit. really. Get out of that building, baby. We need to run quickly. I thought I was gonna be able to blow that, but apparently not. Watch nope, on your face. That's Mind not the right way. So the direction here that they just told us to tip to is not helping us much at all. I hope that is greatly improved in, in Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Making pretty decent time here. So they're not able to stop me. Of course I'm not finding any vegetables. So and I'm landing hard. You can definitely feel like they were gonna give us a a faster a life bar at one point, they thought the better of it, and I agree with that decision. You've got to get out of here. Go, go. Of course, the problem with the hint system is you don't know if you're your jumping. You don't know if you're jumping one building. Height or five buildings, right? Up on this. Go, 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 gotta escape. That was the point where we. What the hell? Move, Faith. Right there was the point where it crashed when I first recorded the spotlight for this game in 2014. Um, not an issue now. 
collectible here. That's good. But that's not where we were heading. We were heading this way. Yes. Don't we? Yeah. Notice this is blue instead of red. I could have sworn this would have been red. My memories of this game are not connecting, as I fall to my death, they're not connecting with what I'm seeing now. I feel like there might have been an update, honestly. Hop in here, jump up this way. There is definitely an argument that can be made that the first time you run through any of these areas, you are just setting your up, yourself up for failure. And the checkpointing system is not as good as it should be. Plus, the level layout of items could be slightly improved. The way things are just in your way, it seems like that's kind of redundant. It's hard enough just to figure out the right actions. Uh, see, I hit B there, it turned me into the direction I was walking. Of course, now we, uh, we have hit our first situation, one of possibly many. Uh, in which we are trying to have a great experience, but instead of having that cinematic movie experience, we're having the video game, I can't beat this section of the game experience. So it's gotta be there. And it wants us to go up here. This way. Roll. And you never really know if you need to roll or not. You probably need to roll there. But... And so it gets to you'll get in an area, you'll feel like you're safe, and then you're not safe in that area because it's full of police. I slowed down time accidentally hitting the wrong button. Now they're all shooting at me. For this elevator to go. The elevator would have been a good. Yeah, you can breathe out. Damn, what a mess. Would have been a good point to end that episode, gone. but we're not there yet. Shit, man, this damn city. So you know I'm out. Well, you sure opened a can of worms on this one. Take the bridge across the avenue and head to Sejuria Plaza. Supplies. IT. Picking up squad cars, moving in on you. You ain't got much time. Uh... Go, go, go! So there's a lot of uh going on in something like this. Where you're just like, Which way am I supposed to be going? They're trying to surround you, they punch through to the plaza. Uh, here we go. So, we are in the plaza now. And which means we are on ground floor. You gotta push through to the plant state, then the roof of the tunnel ahead. So we don't spend a lot of time on, on the on the ground, but we do see a get some air in your lungs and run safe. You don't wanna know what's behind your face, just keep running. Police are chasing me like crazy. Should be an exit off the rail overpass in the plaza ahead. Creek head to the other side to get down. One would hope that the falling grade doors would actually stop the police from chasing me. It moves up ahead. Be careful. So ideally you just want to avoid them. Head up onto the rail overpass. The only way through. Giant. Red stairs. Jump 
climb up on this ladder. Hey, let's get you out of here. I fell. I thought I had that. Blues up ahead, kiddo. One at a time, remember. So, in theory, we could do something like this. Wait till that goes red. Get rid of this guy. But this is incredibly slow. This is not what you want. Running you would think that that statue would turn out to be some secret way of making a lot of progress in the game. If you can make a, like one in a million jump, but nope, it's just a crazy statue. A lot of elements here, ladders, wall runs. Knows how they no word on what's got the blue so trigger happy, but I'll keep on it. And um, don't worry about your sis, okay? We'll fix it. Knows how they didn't bother to animate the the two characters, uh, the guy helping you up or anything like that. That what could be an hell, ego man? thing. Something it could be they're just trying to save on animation is, budget. This game was pretty low budget when it first hey, came so. out. Uh, it was reason? an amazing yeah, success for its budget. So I'm hoping Come Catalyst is even better. Wires are fizzing about Pope's murder. Blue traffic is up. Way up. Don't know what's got into them. Must be contract renewal time. Be careful out there, Sal. So. so why all the heat? Now a girl's been lifting evidence from a crime scene. Now every cop in the city seems to be after her. That the evidence you lifted? Yeah. I think it's from a diary. Rest of it was gone. All I can make out are Icarus, maybe. And to the highest, Icarus. Wasn't he the Greek guy? Yeah, his dad made him some wings out of feathers and wax. Then the boy flew too close to the sun. And pssst, no more wings, no more Icarus. If anyone's heard anything, then you know who it'll be, Faith. Yeah? I know he ain't a runner anymore, but he's got contacts. You can't avoid him forever. Wanna bet? Who? Jackknife. I wonder how many of these characters are going to show back up in Drake's the Drake's got a location on Jackknife. He's on some rooftops of the old runner training ground near the storm drains. Roots crawling with blues, though. You can follow the canals to the Hampton Town District. Get going. So, as long as nobody's shooting at us, we can just take a moment to wander around, but... Except for those few collectibles and the rats. Wow, I didn't know this game had rats. I didn't know rats could just move into paint cans like that. Wow. These must be magic rats. Uh, City authorities are investigating the so we're going to get back on the roofs then. As far as I recall, it has been a long time. I think that's it forever playing on the ground. We'll have a few places where we're on the ground. Uh, yeah, there's a couple other places. So, take this, do a 180, jump, do this. Forgot to roll. You're gonna see me do that a lot. The the penalty of blurring the vision when by because I damage myself is about as bad as it should be for not rolling. I'm trying to figure out where we go. So immediately we're just right back in a bad situation. We're clipping to this. At least those guys warned me before they say they're open fire. I know she said that it was uh, 
um, contract negotiation time indicating that they are a private police force, not a uh, public tax In yeah, a proper a sequel to Mirror's Edge, I would be surprised if we start seeing more militarized police, but that's not what we want in this game. It really isn't. So I don't know how they fix that uh, or achieve that goal without perhaps better training the police in the sequel so they can do parkour moves too. Kinda just jumped there, didn't even see what I was jumping for. There's a lot of leaps of faith. This game should probably be called Leaps of Faith. Leap of Faith. The character's name is Faith. Uh, there's a pun in that, obviously. Can't climb up on this one, oddly. Uh, I bet they couldn't get the copyright for that. Got you as far as I got Mirror's Edge. Train. So, there's like an achievement for running around this whole thing and getting like a great speed around it or something. Actually, I do remember that that's not right. Oh yeah, so that's the final point where we end up there. We want to actually start somewhere else. So there's all kinds of police and such here, but up there they could have dealt with if I had so chosen. Instead, I'm taking this. Wow. Well, I kind of cheated that, didn't I? That's the problem where the cut, the potential checkpoint system can get cheated. So I'm, I was looking for this to be improved on Catalyst. If I don't have two feet securely planted on a surface, it shouldn't checkpoint for a game like Birds this. Bugging out. Looks like you're in the clear. Now get into those drains. Slid down a little too much there. Bugging out. Oops. Was not supposed to do it that way even though I made it that way. So the game did not allow it to be to work that way. Even though it should have. I'd like to see more opportunities to play your way as the saying goes as far as like really slide down some more uh, instead of it all being very much well laid out I don't mind if it's a race there are race levels where you have only one choice as to how you move but I would like to see some of the game at least take place in a more open environment as far as how you choose things. Emergency gate release. Okay. So how do we get there? There is a a weirdness to some of the uh, setup of how far you jump. You, you kind of lean your body forward a little more than is realistically possible. And now we have a new system. Flickering 
light that means nothing. So, if the police don't show up, this could be... Man, these rats, they just get everywhere. I don't think they render at all on the PlayStation 3 version. I, I don't think those were... Uh, I kind of like that there's some life around here. I'd prefer if they were not rats. Or bats, maybe? I'm seeing, I might have saw, seen some bats. But, birds are fine. Keep going, don't think those blues won't come down here. Yep. And I, I am just so programmed in video games to assume you need hey, to run back, on the wires. walk Shit. back here. Looks like they anticipated you might duck in here and send a sniper team ahead. Snipers, uh... And so I want to always back up as much as possible before oops before I run keep going don't and think that's those blues really come not down how here. this game is set up to do and it's even encouraging me to do that by giving me space if they had just designed that catwalk so that I couldn't back up then hey, I would be stuck on the wires. Shit. Looks like with they having you might to in here and a sniper team ahead. Uh, focus simply on what we're doing. I think I'm supposed to jump across here. So now is not the time that you would want to be trying to slowly walk across the balance beam. But that was a lot slower and it felt a lot easier to control. Did he just shoot the rat? Or is he shooting me? Grab on. A lot of these jumps don't line Take up. Take those snipers out or keep out of their way. Just get your ass through there. So these guys are already getting crazy. With the guns. Oops. And every time it's just oops, oops, oops. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm just not one of those YouTubers that's gonna sit here and cuss at the game. Uh, not for the s simple things. The cinematic experience of this game would potentially be the best way to experience this game. It's a shame that there isn't a movie mode after you beat the game. A lot of games actually would be kind of nice if you had that where okay you've beaten it let's show you what the replay would have looked like if you had made no mistakes whatsoever and never died or and in a lot of ways you can say that is what you did because the reset set you up that way these rounded edges seem to be teaching me something about jumps that we can't make like, I can jump across, but if there's not a flat edge to a flat edge, it seems like I can't make it up forward. This seems a little repetitive, particularly if this was how we were going to set it up. So it can't be that. It can't be the case that I can't make these jumps. It's just because they're rounded, maybe we go towards the center a little bit more here. Yeah, this seems to be working. That's a little too much repetitive action here. Uh, the red lights, I assume, are supposed to be markers. Oh, come on. Well, I kind of cheated my way there again. And you kick the electrical box, which then 
by all rights should start sparking at you. Um, how do I get out of here? I've accidentally hit the slowdown time, and X does not really cancel the slowdown time. Oops. So how do we... Where are we going? We're going to that door. If you walk near these things and you don't hit right bump to jump, you will still do that. Get out of there, baby. Oh, you have to hit this button. It's barely colored red. Remember, I'm playing on easy too. So, it would only be more difficult on normal. There would be more damage you take when you get shot. And when you die, by falling down, you die, always. So it's like, I think the trick here is to jump up to that, yeah? And to jump up to that. You don't even have the runner's vision helping you, but you kind of need that constantly going on. And slide. And jump. And fall to your death. And then start back here. I'll tell you that, from what I remember, when this game came out, I felt it was close to falling. And now that I'm seeing it, uh, I mean, almost over jumped it there. Uh, 2016, I can totally see things based on that, the new things we've learned. That it, would have totally improved this. Wow. How the, well, how, what jump was I supposed to make there? Just level layout. Directing the player to, as to where to go. Some would arguably say that this is because we've been dumbed down as video game players and we want everything spoon fed to us. Which is kind of true. Video games are supposed to be fun. And because of that, we do want to not be frustrated like we were in years past. But also, that's just good game design. Uh, a game is supposed to be fun and somewhat challenging. If your gun game is fun but has no challenge, it'll be quickly forgotten. If your game is... I was trying to do a wall, wall run, I don't think I actually need to do that. If your game is all challenge and no fun, it will be quickly forgotten. You can find a wide range in the middle, though, of games that are remembered. You can have things that are super fun and not very challenging. Um, what would be a game that's super fun and not very challenging? Uh, the Walking Dead, a Telltale game, any Telltale game. A lot of them are pretty fun. Right. Uh, have like very few if any losers scenarios and, or you could have Dark Souls and Dark Souls is very challenging but also fun and that's a very difficult, a really difficult one. This is Hampton Town Access, your exit base. Jack my name for Where are we going? Volunteer at that Hmm. Well, it's not an elevator, but... Yeah, it looks like there's a collectible up there, maybe. Maybe not. It's not an elevator, but this is as good of a place as any to end our recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe. Comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right is a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.